Hello ITPC, this is Steve and you're watching Smoking Cardboard. Sorry, there's some birds calling. Comes up very loud on these microphones. I'm smoking some Rainier Gold Blend. 71 or something like that in my uh, Azekian I don't know it's kind of like a bent brandy to me for a while I was not smoking this pipe I thought I was just going to uh, give it to garbage man piper but then, I don't know, I just guess I started smoking it. I don't like breaking in pipes. It's, it's not my thing. But it's a very pretty pipe. I'm glad I have it. I would have been glad to give it away too. Ah. <sighs> Just trying to relax. I hope you all are doing well. I'll try to get to the business first. There's. I'm too. Uh, I'm slow. I'm slow on watching videos. I'm slow on responding to t people's videos and. Um, I guess that's because I do what's best for me. <laughs> and so a lot of times I don't even respond. But I was going to try to respond for a couple things here. Trucking Piper Bob. Um, he has a gaw going on. Uh... I remember for 100 subs and I remember starting my channel and then uh, being familiar enough with the YTPC to see some people get to 100 subs in like a week and then other people will take a really long time. It was kind of, I suppose, how generally attractive your channel is uh, or how people relate to it or want to watch it but some of it was other people promoting and it catching wind I don't know I feel like I've promoted videos and of other channels in the past and I never really saw much difference in their subs not that I means I didn't want that's the only way to promote them some of it is to just encourage them but anyway track and piper bob's got a great channel you should check it out I'll put a link down below he was asking what your favorite toy was as a kid when the first one you can remember i gotta be honest i have a horrible memory really horrible I I remember a, a, a lot of different toys. I think on his uh, God video I said uh, tractors. I really wanted to be a farmer. I just thought that was the coolest thing. Um, I liked the smells. I liked the type of work that it was. I just wanted to be a farmer. I wish so bad my dad was a farmer so I could be a farmer. And uh, so tractors, horses, little farm setups, all that stuff. But also Legos. I was huge into building Legos. In uh, kindergarten, 
I was in a Lego building contest and I actually won. Uh, where they just give you a pile of Legos and you had to build something. I don't know. Whatever. I built a house in a driveway. And uh, won $50 savings bond. I remember a uh, blue bike. My first bike. It was too big for me. And my parents bought it at a garage sale for 20 bucks. I was, I felt bad, you know. We weren't, we didn't have very much money. So whenever my parents spent money on me, I felt bad. But I loved that bike. And we became uh, a gang of bikes in our little cul-de-sac. We had a dead end and tried to make the longest skid mark you could possibly make. And... We just burned through those tires just making skid marks. I did that all the time. Other oh, stunts on them. Um, anyway, I have no idea which one of those toys came first. And then he wanted to know first pipe, huh? So. I was given a pipe kit and this is the no name black I assume no, I don't know I don't know what kind of wood this is it's hard but it is not prior it was even filtered but as soon as I kind of got into piping I learned more about pipes and I was scared to smoke it. So there's not even hardly a cake in this. A scar from dropping pipes. I used to do that a whole lot more. I think I am far more careful with that. I don't know. I used to put the bits on the end. I was worried about messing up my pipes and I felt like I was bad at clenching softly. Um, it was kind of a skill I needed to learn. But when you have so many skills to learn, drinking black tea, cold brew, you have so many skills to learn. I guess the whole clenching softly thing was probably fair enough to be a low priority. So I haven't smoked that pipe very much. But I do I do remember my first smoke and buying my first tobaccos. Just felt like an alien. So weird. Out of place. So the other guy was uh Clay S. I've been subbed to his channel for uh, a while. It's got to be over a year. At least. And he's throwing us up because he finally got to 100 subscribers. So congrats. Um, he wanted to know a recipe that we really like. I will try to put, I don't know, I mostly grill. That's what I do. I grill, grill, grill. You now I could put you some grilling recipes but those are kind of boring everyone knows how to grill or if so there's not as many recipes for grilling it's kind of technique I'll put a recipe for butter chicken because I really like that and it's easy to make and I also put um, because I have this recipe right I always wanted to make uh, clam chowder. I love clam chowder soup and I found this one recipe and it was very 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 delicious and I want to make it again but I'll throw that in there too. Clay also wanted to know what was something rare hard to get that we wanted to try that we haven't tried with either tobacco whiskey or cigars. 
Uh, for me, I don't care about whiskey. I like I like mixed drinks with whiskey, but drinking straight is I almost rather just smell it. And um, but I love mixed drinks, and it doesn't matter. It it doesn't matter if it's fancy or not. Cigars I don't smoke. It's a pipe tobacco. What's a pipe tobacco that I want to try that I've never tried? That, there is one that is like, man, I always think, I want to try that so bad. A couple. I mean, I haven't tried but a bit of McClellan's. Um, and some of that was initially with intentionality. I didn't want to get into something that was just gone away because I went away right when I started smoking a pipe. And I didn't want to like something I couldn't get. Just ignore it. But that being said, I still would like to try uh, some Christmas cheer. But more important, well, higher above that was the 40th anniversary blend. But, which I could have bought. It's It's around. I've seen it around. I just, I just can't pull the trigger on the prices that people want for it not saying it's not worth it or anything just just uh, look from afar anyway also we have Raphael flat cat piper doing uh I guess he's doing a giveaway with this and I'm probably too late because I'm always too late with all this stuff but you wanted uh three nominations of below 500 subscribe uh subscriber channels and up to three artisans so the three channels which this was really hard some of the channels that I really wanted to uh promote were like over 500 or just barely over 500 so I couldn't do those and then it was just kind of I don't know I try to think of ones that I can't watch all the videos so some people's that um, consistently for a while now whenever they make a video I'm excited to watch it I put uh, Sam doing it wrong friend from Minnesota, I hope we can get together sometime soon. Share a pipe. Uh, just a wonderful guy, wonderful friend. Cliff Higgins, start a new channel, Pipe Ninja. I honestly love the energy that Cliff brings to the YTPC. He's a genuine uh, uh, friend and uh, genuine friend to you know everyone in the YTPC but he makes a lot of quite high quality videos and then um, I put uh, Night Train's Piper channel on here uh, said he's getting his smoking shed redone so I think he's doing less videos right now but um, I really like his videos nothing uh, uh, um, unusual about them to make them stand out but I like hearing him talk about the different blends and what's going on and um, I just want to encourage him to keep making videos because uh, I really enjoy them and hope he's doing well. So those are my three channels. And then um, I, three artists and pipe makers, I would put um, uh, Phil Rivara. Got one of his pipes this year. It was great. I also like how like so many of these pipe makers 
he's willing to help um, uh, others who are learning piping, but he's also, um, it was great to meet him in uh, Vegas. I would say uh, Mark Tinsky, I really love my pipes from him. Uh, definitely my most smoked artisan pipes. And then I would say uh, Jason J. Mutang pipe. Really makes a lot of uh, very pretty pipes, which I have three of. Yeah, I have three J. Mouton pipes and three Mark Tinsky pipes and then one Phil Rivara pipe. So. And while I'm doing shout outs, my parents are uh, going through the process of building a home. And uh, I have to have notes because I can't remember all this stuff. And my mom has uh, started a YouTube channel kind of blogging the progress. And we'll see how long that lasts. But I was quite impressed with her ability to edit the videos for this. Not piping related at all, but some of you might enjoy it. Uh, some point maybe I'll be in one of those videos helping. They live like they're building this house like nine hours away from me so not very easy for me to help. But we'll see. Foundation's just getting dug and that's exciting for them. So I'll put a link for that too. Other than that, life's been busy. Um, graduation parties. Um, what do we do? Kids got left at grandpa and grandma's, so then we got to go on date night. Tried a new restaurant. It's a little disappointing. Not because the food was bad or service was bad. It just wasn't as good as I wanted it to be. I almost never, my rule, one of my rules <laughs> is don't order something at a restaurant that I can make at home. And I kind of broke that rule and I guess that's why I'm disappointed. I got a steak because that's kind of what they're known for. And it was fine. It was fine. It was okay. I should have gotten something else. More interesting. Not that I love, don't love steak. Apparently that's what we're having tonight. And then, um, played some board games, which I love. Brass Lincolnshire. That's the name of board game. And then uh, Tuesday night, we went to uh, Brewers Twins game, invited my wife's family because they're all in Minneapolis because it was in the Target Field Stadium. Maybe I'll put a picture in here. <laughs> Maybe not. Um, and that was fantastic because we got to watch the game with them and we got to take most of our family my youngest went to camp this week, which he was super excited about. And the baseball game ended up to being a nail biter. Uh, it was kind of a big disappoint for, disappointment for us Brewer fans, but it was a really fantastic game. It was nearly like sold out, like it was full. Uh, so it was very fun. The crowd was into it. And, um,. We got out of the stadium just in time to not basically hit any traffic. Very tactically left the stadium. I guess it helps when you're a loser with a tail between your legs. So 
I think it was four home runs. It was a great game. And then uh, last night, had my first worship team practice for church. I'm very uh, I feel pretty conflicted about um, my ability to do things usually. And singing's not one of them. I, I really enjoy singing, but I am not. I'm not used to singing a microphone at all. And so I am not very confident. I sound great. I like to sound beautiful. <laughs> we'll see. So hopefully that goes well. Uh, work on my self esteem a little bit. And then. Uh, tonight I thought we had it off and that's why I was like oh yeah I'll be able to join pipe relax make a video but I think I'm gonna have to cut this pipe session short cook those steaks eat supper and then um, go um, help clean up some shrubberies and weeds and stuff around our church Tomorrow I was going to play some volleyball with some friends. I'm like just good enough to get by. I'm pretty bad, but I can, I got, I try real hard. So that, that counts for something. Anyway, you guys don't care about any of this. I hope that you're all having a wonderful week. It's cold today. It's like 70 degrees. Windy. Maybe it's 72. But this pipe tastes... This tobacco is great. The Rainier. I've been smoking the other blends too. I think the Mac Baron Royal Twist, which apparently was available for sale again in the Stockton which I think people were looking for. It tastes great, and it doesn't bite too much, but it bites enough that kind of makes me not jump back to it. I don't know. And then I was smoking that other, the Costello brand blend that I opened the other video, and I wasn't liking it at first. It was really tasting like almost cigar like in f in in flavors not like a cigar but like not sweet not nutty just kind of something else that's more cigar like but then once i slowed down a little bit then i got some really neat flavors coming through um, so that was encouraging because I was like, oh, it's not bad. I mean, it tastes like tobacco, which I like, but I much prefer uh, some different flavors. And I started tasting them when I started sipping, which is sometimes hard for me to do. Anyway, I'm babbling. Hope you are well. We'll see you later. Bye.